All right, guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be going over a uh, can breakout box. And this model right here is actually the o OTC can breakout box. And it is a very, very good can breakout box. It's pretty expensive. This one ranges between, uh, I've seen it from $300 up to $450. So just to give you guys an idea of the price range. And now I'm basically what a, a can breakout box is, is just basically an extension of your DLC connector. Now, and how this little guy can help you in diagnosis of a CAN communication fault. So, we're going to get started with basically what is what this guy does. So, on one end, you have a DLC connector. This one's a male. And this one will actually plug into your DLC connector that's onto the vehicle. And on the other side, you have a female connector. Now this connector right here is going to be actually what your scan tool can plug into just to give you guys an extension. So this is this is the for a scan tool. So this guy will come and he will plug on here like this. And now this would allow communication between the scan tool and the vehicle and also give you guys a breakout box in order to perform test and diagnosis of, of the suspected CAN system. So, now the companies that make these boxes, they, they vary. You have, if I'm not mistaken, you have OTC, of course. You also have Snap-on and Bluepoint. You also have Mac Tools. You also have AES Wave and you have Pico. And those are more or less the top brands that actually uh, make these. So now we're going to get into what the colors on the on the can breakout box actually means. Okay, so as you can see, I have a red. Red is at at pin 16. 16 is always going to be a positive. It's always going to be a from battery positive. This is what's going to allow your scan tool to actually have a constant power. Now, if we come up here. We have pins 4 and pins 5. Now pin 4 is going to be a chassis ground. So this is going to be connected anywhere onto the body. And pin 5 is actually a signal ground. This is the ground that is actually sent out from the ECM. Which basically is a ground that is uh, clean. So there's less uh, like hashing into the signal. So this one uh, ground right here is from the PCM. And this ground right here is actually uh, shared onto all the sensors of the engine uh, compartment. So uh, when you guys see a uh, signal ground, that's what it means. It's actually a ground that actually comes out from the PCM and it's clean and it's less hash. Now, if we come on back to these numbers, if you guys see pins 1, 3, 8, 9, 11, 12, and 13, those are manufacturer specific uh, pins. So depending on what the manufacturer wants to put on them, they can put whatever they want onto them and it's at your discretion. And all the blue ones are your basic data bus lines. So like 6 and 14 are your can high, can low. Uh, if you come over here, pin 7 is your K line. And pin 15 is your L line. And then you have your pin 2, which is your bus plus. Pin 10 is your, is your bus negative. And that's basically all it is. It's just an easier way to get to your, your signals that you're trying to diagnose. So if you guys have a can communication fault and it says... Uh, can high shorted the ground let's just let's just say well then you could actually come here plug up your your DLC connector to the vehicle and you guys could actually come here and read your can high so you guys would go can high and see if it is actually shorted the ground and that's basically all a can breakout box is there's n not very much more to it now they did add some uh, some other little features because when these guys first came out there was like no lights or anything onto it but on the newer systems they actually have LEDs and what the LEDs will do is if you're if you have communication that is happening onto it they will actually light so if you would take and plug your scan tool in and then go uh, try to communicate with it you guys would actually see like one of the LEDs that would light up and that would mean that it is working now the OTC has a this little feature which I'm going to show you guys right now. So I'm just going to use uh, some 
1.5 volt batteries connected in series just to, to show you guys this okay so first I'm going to show you guys without it and then I'm going to show you guys with it without the uh, the 1.5 batteries so I'm going to start with can it, putting some power to the system and as you can see I have 12.5 volts now you're leaving your key on and you guys are draining out the battery what the OTC will actually do and uh, is that it will actually send out a small pulse if the signal starts to fade so if you yeah, sorry not the signal if the battery voltage starts to drop beyond a specific point so I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna attach this guy and I'm gonna attach this guy So as you guys can see, now you got an audible tone telling you that the battery voltage is actually low. So, which is a nice little feature. Like I said, there's not very much to a CAN breakout box. It's just useful for CAN diagnosis when you guys actually have a communication faults. So it's either gonna be short to ground, open, short to positive, um, timeout codes. Uh, you can, you'll be able to see all that through here. So you can actually take your oscilloscope plug it into these these ports or your multimeter either one and you guys can actually take and see if you guys actually have signals that are coming down your coming down your line and that's basically all it is so I hope you guys enjoyed this little video and have a good day